In this episode, we're still in Tokyo for another day of fun and adventures. We started the day with a quick stop at Sensoji Temple, Tokyo's oldest temple in Asakusa, and one of the busiest tourist attractions in the prefecture. It was as expected, very crowded and busy, with the area filled with vendors and tourists alike. Make sure you get here early to beat the midday crowds. Sky tree. So many tourists. Including me. <laughs> our stop at Sensoji was brief as we made our way towards Tokyo Skytree Tower and the Studio Ghibli store. We didn't get a chance to visit the actual Ghibli Museum, so this was the next best thing to get our Miyazaki fix. Alright, walking up to the Studio Ghibli store. Fortunately for this trip, we don't get to go to the actual Ghibli Museum because it's closed. But this is a good alternative, I guess, because this is the official store for all things Miyazaki. Can't wait to go check it out, see if we can get anything. So right away at the front door, I see something that I really want. They spirited away my favorite animation, arguably from... Um, Studio Ghibli, I think it's 1800 yen. So unfortunately, I'm gonna get it, but damn, it looks good. They also got this bus, the cat bus, here on display, which is really cool. And they got a Christmas theme as well. They got more No Face. I don't know what this is. I think it's a, a light up lamp. And more pens. I love the displays they have. So cute. <laughs> 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 300 yen. So much exclusive. Mm. Yeah. I have no idea. <laughs> This character really scared me as a kid. Oh. Too bad it's 900 yen. Mmm. Mmm, no face. Look at this giant Totoro on display. Definitely. You know, if I had my own place right now, this would not look bad on my wall. Art that I can actually appreciate. Got like some handkerchiefs as well. 
500 yen again for Totoro. All right, so we're at Moss Burger. Apparently, it's the McDonald's of Japan. Um, somebody recommended us just to give it a shot. We just walked by literally from Asakusa Station and saw it. So here we are. We ordered the teriyaki burger. It took a while to actually make, so um, it might actually be of some quality. So let's find out. Ooh, it's hot. It's really hot. Alright, we just had some Moss Burger. It was alright. Um, teriyaki Burger tasted like a teriyaki burger. Everything was hot. Everything was hot, so they appear to have made some effort in actually making the burger for us. Uh, which is not the case at any fast food restaurant in North America, so we appreciated that. But now we're going to the Asashi Beer Hall just to grab some beers, some lunch, and grab a view of this river because it looks amazing. There's like a submarine looking boat thing over there. Here it is. This is the Asashi Beer Headquarters actually. And we're looking for the beer hall where we can catch a view of the river. Let's see where it is. Asahi Beer Hall was a nice and relaxing spot to catch a view of the Sumida River in Sumida, Tokyo. Most of Tokyo's landmarks were visible and we were super lucky to get up on such a bright and sunny day. But we weren't done for sure. It was time to experience something you can't really do anywhere else in the world. Well safely that is. We're going to go go-karting around Tokyo with the fine folks at Marikar back in Akihabara. Three hours later. Dressing up in a onesie and driving in a go-kart is one of the top activities you can do on your trip to Japan. I was super excited to get behind the wheel and see Tokyo from a tiny little kart. Just like the Mario Kart video game. All you have to do is get an international driver's permit from your home country and make sure you book ahead as these tours are very popular. Our tour began at the Akihabara garage with a quick safety demonstration and dressing up in the onesie. I chose Sully because who doesn't love a giant blue monster? The cart was surprisingly easy to control with pedestrians often waving at you, taking a picture, or just plain laughing at how ridiculous you and your fellow carting group looks on the streets. There really is nothing else like it. Alright, we're on the Mari Car Streetcar Tour right now in Tokyo. We just left Akihabara and we're at Skytree. I don't know if you guys can see the tower behind us. There we go. Uh, I am dressed up as Sully and we have a group of four people right now. We're, again, we're very taking a break, but it's been really fun so far. I'm surprised at how easy it is to actually just drive the go-kart. It might be a lot more difficult, but you know, it's been fun. It's been really fun. I think a lot of photos have been taken, so uh, we'll see what happens the rest of the tour.
Our whole ride lasted about two and a half hours, and boy was it worth it. I cannot highly recommend it enough on your next trip to Japan. We ended the day in Shibuya to check out the famous crossing as well as to have dinner at an affordable but tasty conveyor belt sushi chain called Genki Sushi. Shibuya Crossing was as expected. Waves of people moving in all different directions in what I called organized chaos. This is pretty interesting. Genki sushi. Huh, English. At the bottom left hand corner. Go back to the main menu. There's also alcohol if you want. Tuna and albacore, mackerel. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. This was our first time having conveyor belt sushi in Japan, and the food was surprisingly tasty for the low prices. From 100 to 300 yen, everything came at the press of a button. It was super fast and very convenient. I absolutely loved it. All right, let's just order this and see what happens. Base order. How fun. There it comes. Yeah. That was quick. So interesting. <laughs> 3,000 yen later and we are done. Pretty cool experience. Before heading back to the hotel, we also stopped at a Mega Don Quixote in Shibuya. Don Quixote is a Japanese superstore that literally sells everything imaginable. If you're looking for a store for souvenirs to bring home, chances are Don Quixote will have something for you. I mean, this place is, has like everything. You need a BTS doll, they have it. You need some flowers, they have it. You need some LED lights, they have it. Oh, you need some Harry Potter ropes, they have it too. The store is absolutely crazy. 
This store has absolutely everything from Totoro paintings to Magikarp hats to I don't even know what this stuff is. Pokemon paper theater to cosplay. Holy shit. And look, check out that Spider Man up ahead. I can't believe what I'm seeing. <laughs> Only in Japan. 4284 at K2SO over there. On the top. And 570 for Han Solo. It's actually more expensive here for some reason. I definitely know there's better prices to be had. Yoda is going for like 2000 Bottle t-shirt, like what is all this? 2000 yen. Hmm. Thanks for watching. Have you been to the places we visited in this episode? Let me know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to not miss our next episode in Harajuku and Shinjuku. Thank you.